Okay, so we're up to session number 30 of our uh, Star Wars game. Uh, Skype people don't have video yet. Okay, so I shall fix that. Yeah, we did. Okay, well, is that back again? Yep. Er, sorry, I'm answering for you guys. You're answering for the people who need to answer. <laughs> exactly. So I'll get David. Yeah, I still can't see anything. I'll get David to introduce yeah, himself, okay. and then we'll get check Ross because Ross may need to. Um, <coughs> oh, you got one. Um, I've already opened this one. All right, but not hello. I am David. I play B1 337, a modified um, B1 battle droid. Uh, a lot less of the Roger Roger and more of the I hate you, disgusting. Awful meat tax. Roger, Roger. <laughs> so more based on the HK series than on the B1 series. Mm. Yeah, look, the attitude of a HK, the body of a misshapen B1. Uh, yeah. And potentially other droids <laughs> influencing as well. So he looks like a. Uh, all you need to know is your life yeah. means nothing. <laughs> He, he looks like a overly modified B1. Okay. So almost like the enhanced R2 droid yep. we were showing you. Yeah, okay. I get that. Like a really weird, bodged, fat B1. This is interesting, because I was envisioning you as completely different. Alright. Okay, and also of... leaking, leaking just a touch of radiation. Yeah, that, that's I, actually been fixed recently. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm like, this was a lot of Oh, okay. That, oh, yeah, it did that's too. That's close to what I was thinking. Yeah. Um. Also online, we have Ross. Can Ross actually see us now? No. Nah. Apparently, Ross has gone back in time. <laughs> Wrong franchise. <laughs> well, considering he's recent loss of limb, I can see why he'd want to go back in time. <laughs> We'll come back to Ross because he's uh, most likely being called away to somewhere special. Oh, already? Uh, and we'll go to Ariadna. Oh, well, thanks. Just we remember to stick the chip in my mouth. At um, least I waited until before you put it in your mouth. And not after. Actually true, but you, you still had a non... Yeah, let's just get to it. <laughs> uh, I am... Crazy. They... They... Yana True Striker. Um, I am now a... Uh... Sector Ranger mm -hmm. rather than just a Ranger. Yep. You've been upgraded. Um, and I now have in my care 10 uh, new recruits who I'm going to try not to kill while I train them. Um, and uh, we had also recently the honour of getting um, awards from uh, delivered by Thrawn himself. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this session. Oh yeah, Kesley, we got minion meat snack. Meat meat snack. <laughs> minion meat snack. Minion meat snack. Very nice. You have three of Ross's. You have none of mine, all ten of mine. 
<laughs> I've been weight hey. slaves all my life, both in reality and in fantasy, so, you know. No, I've procured a couple of these minions. Some of them have some sort of mental um, acuities and they can be taught. Exactly. Well, beaten into learning. Yeah. Everything can be learned with a good being. Uh, Sorry, exactly. this is pretty good. Exactly. That's the one. Is that no good on the video? Hmm. So, what happened? So, what was that, Ross? You, you can actually see video now? No, I can't. No. Oh. Okay, so uh, try dropping it and jumping back in again. Alright. Who was doing that? We'll do Kessley. Alrighty. Um, so I am playing. Uh, yeah, here we go. Cool. Cool. I'm playing Kayana. Um. She was Sector Ranger and now promoted to Senior Sector Ranger from what I gathered from last time. Mm -hmm. Full head work. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> so, um, she was martial artist of the group, lost her arm, now has a cool, I want to say silver, uh, prosthetic arm that she keeps under a cape just for the purpose of having a collection of capes because it's cool. Why not? Because, because, like, yeah. I thought you got both arms upgraded. I, I'm not sure. She talked about it. Yeah. yeah. No, she's still got one. Still, still got the one at least. Okay. Um, as I said, re the video. Um, from the session before. Yeah. Because I'm like, who got dismembered first? Great question. I think it was actually me. Uh, it was. Yeah. Uh, it, it was me. Yeah, dismembered first. Maybe you did get the double dismembered. No, I just got a single. Yeah, I'm not sure. Got, got no, multiple shots, but... Both of them were the left arm. Because my Chronicle order here shows Ross hitting the critical, critical hit first. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then it's three or four lines down that kind of gets the mm. critical hit, so... That takes the arm off? Yeah. Yeah, so I I'm, 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 yeah I'm gonna have to rewatch it again just based on this conversation now, because it's gonna bug me. But let's get on to Carly, I'm guessing. And then we're up to Ross and Khaled. Yes, I play Khaled, the enforcer slash um, garbage disposal unit. <laughs> um, yeah, take out the trash type thing. Yeah, no, but got the on the plus side, I haven't been, I haven't been needed to do that, which I'm quite happy about. Well, at least you know where the um, trash is located now. Wait a minute, we are now referring to a certain someone. I was just teasing Ross with the way he was saying it. I know. Yeah. Well, it well Piper no longer exists. <laughs> well, technically, yes, that's true. From a certain point of view. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so who wants to do the recap for last session? Mm. I don't know half of it. I, I, I've run out of video. <laughs> um. Hey, Ross, you remember what happened last session? Um, basically we've been put to, in a rock and a hard place trying to round up, uh, well, trying to find out information about uh, a new terrorist organisation that's starting to surface around the uh, galaxy. Um, I'm finding out that uh, some of the people that I associate with have been thrown in Imperial prison for, for basically complaining that they haven't been paid, which they... Well, it looks Insurgency. like investigations that they haven't been paid. And... You know, I completely forgot about the union stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and... Yeah, sorry. Basically, we're trying to... And I think a uh, certain part of the... Uh, our... Club, is, is to speak, is actually affiliated with the so-called galact galactic terrorists. Which we don't know about yet. Uh, he's referring to the fact that um, Piper is associated with um, uh, Saul Guerrero. Oh, okay. Who yeah. is um, a. Uh, the, he's the bounty hunted. Uh, revolutionary. Re yeah, revolutionary person. Who sees revolution through explosions? Yes. Very much like your gnome bomber. Um, well, explosions are, are really pretty. Uh, and people notice it. to get your point across. Mm. 
Uh, unlike harsh letters, which no one seems to notice. <laughs> okay. So we uh, well, um, harsh letters end up getting you thrown in imperial jail. <laughs> Harsh letters that explode now. That gets your attention. Well, harsh letters signed with someone else's name. That's completely different. <laughs> I'm sure you can do a letter dropping campaign where you get rid of all the people you don't like. Did you want me to go over any of the notes I've got? Uh, would you like to? Well, I don't know if it would be useful for Kesley. Kesley's seen the same that? ones as well. Oh, so you've done the year... Oh, okay, yeah, then that'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, it helps. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you told me you watched it. Yeah, no no worries there, because, like, from what I can at least pick up from is that Kyana was off on a super secret mission, so if I don't know things, it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you get up for uh, your first day awake as Sector Rangers. Having gone off and chased up leads as much as you could the day before. Okay. Just debating whether or not it's my first day as a sector ranger or it's the first day of every other day. I just got a new, longer label. Okay. Labels are important to some people. <laughs> yeah. Generally the bureaucrats, which we found out, the Empire is very fond of. That is their most favourite thing in the world. It is. Bureaucracy. Because if you can't uh, define it, then it doesn't exist. If you can't physically beat them, mentally torture them until they kill themselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see you've been to B1 School of Negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> Enhanced by the real life public service version of negotiation. <laughs> but yes. Oh, I prefer the fifth element the negotiation style. Which is also similar lines to B1. I don't know, I like the uh, the Anakin Skywalker version of aggressive negotiations more. Yeah, he likes to teach you lessons by cutting off limbs. <laughs> it's important for you to grow as a Sith. <laughs> you don't need that part that was holding you back. You're more aerodynamic now. But in this world, I'm much happy to understand that, that it's B1's negotiation techniques. Yep. <laughs> Okay, you, you all awaken to uh, the, the sounds of um, uh, inspirational music coming from somewhere uh, in your bedrooms. Oh no. Uh, three speakers you didn't know existed. Right, so this is either eBay or. Oh, look, there's lots of choices here. It could be B1 even. Um, and, and even B1 is um, brought online after um, powering down and uh, trying to ignore the um, uh, requests from uh, various people wanting his uh, uh, digital services uh, for stuff other than um, collecting bounties and making money. So when you say inspir inspiring... I wish you all didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, in terms of inspiring music, is it like kind of what we're hearing in the background here, or is it more chariots of fire? Sure, whichever works for your character. Do you find I'm it inspiring? I'm trying to figure out whether I hate it or not, really. Well, your character finds it inspiring. Really? I find it inspiring. Yes. Do I have to? You can also find it annoying and inspiring at the same time. Okay, so I have to. Fair enough. We'll go with that. That's what I was looking for. What the date was today? Today is the 26th. Yep. And I have to look at the date to actually confirm that because my brain, even though it's written a couple of times today, still doesn't remember. Oh, yeah. And I've got it right down here, but I looked up there because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where your eyes were. Um, I'm going to check. Is this Empire Day? It is not. Okay. okay. That was a good good question. Good question, yeah. Uh, you, you, you have no idea why you're getting all this inspirational music I until you realize that uh, new entry in calendar um, is heard over the speaker. Okay. That'll answer my question. I guess that's one way to do a notification. And uh, meeting in uh, five minutes uh, in main hall. Uh. All right. Okay, so quickly get dressed. And as the... Because uh, Kiana hasn't uh, been there yet. Mm -hmm. um, can I forgo getting properly dressed to get some coffee? Sure. that's what I want to do. Both me and the fantasy me. <laughs> Gotta love Skype. 
text to speech, uh, text to um, speech to text. Oh, I, I, I love some of the things that stick so. Costco. <laughs> ah, okay. So, your eBay is long distance custard, uh, cousin, Costco. Mm. <laughs> Co-cost. Mm. Okay, so as you go out to get coffee, one of your uh, minions is outside holding up a, a freshly made coffee. Fine, I go back and get dressed. <laughs> I do not thank the minion. <laughs> he doesn't need thanks for doing his job. Okay, so minion is named Mr. Coffee. Uh, no, I, I would like him called Mr. Froffy. Mr. Froffy. Yes, in tribute to another one <laughs> of our, our games. Thinking so hard today. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to spell a name I've written like 50 times. <laughs> it's Guyana, by the way. I'm like, where are the doubles? There's, there, there's some doubles in there. Yeah. It's okay. I, I'm sure I even have some of them correct online eventually. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I know you've got one of mine spelled wrong, but I'm, I'm over it. Everyone's so used to me misspelling because that happens. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it sounds right. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, the uh, two of you uh, make it into the conference room with uh, noticing that um, B one's also there as well. As you see, Hi. Uh, <laughs> my God, that's the most civil you've ever sounded. <laughs> I'm sure coffee I wish helps. Your head. <laughs> that's better. Now I'm more comfortable with the world. As you see, Kayana walk into the room, cape blo- billowing. Ooh. Very nice, very fancy. Uh, Wearing, um, uh, 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 a Sector Ranger pin holding it. Oh, yeah. Sector Ranger pin holding it. Yeah. Uh, with, with, um, uh, also what appears to be, um, decent armor in the Mandalorian style. Hey. Woo-hoo. Nice. Very nice. Someone's had a lot of fun while they were away. Um, enthusiastically greet our now more impressive leader. Um, Where have you been? How long have you been gone? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I just what had I a triple espresso coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm um, good. I will tell them all. I have uh, I have been on assignment uh, as per my orders. Uh, I have to say congratulations to those. Uh, wait, is it just my team or is like, like the minions there? there? Uh, the minions aren't there yet. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I just another one shows up with coffee. I just say congratulations to the Harlot for being promoted to Sector Rangers. Please train your uh rain or what is it? yeah Rangers appropriately and treat them with dignity. Pointedly what? looking at both of them, ignoring B one, whatever B was. B one's got three. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's sneaked through already. So, um, I, I just remind them that, like, uh, they may be green, they may be naive, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, but they are here to serve the sector, and it's your responsibility to make sure they don't die. Yes, 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 they're all equally worthless. All right, let's go. Um, so, no. I think tactically they do good as cannon fodder, really. Uh, yeah, equally worthless. Yeah. We need to need a bit of more eyes. I would them. not destroy any of my people's God, don't you people know me already? Pedantic do the right thing, family girl. <laughs> um, right. Um, I will make a point to mention to you that three go uh, under B one's yep. care. Um and Carl has seven. That that leaves Carl with seven and me with ten or we have some kind of weird odd split where I have like eight and he has nine or something like that. Yeah, that's I, see. I, I believe um, uh, uh, Carly managed to volunteer some of his to uh, further training with B1. Yeah, so I think, it, yeah. I think I'm the reason why. I think the reason why I figured it out that way is because um, Carly managed to volunteer some of his to uh, further training with B1. Yeah, so I think it's just a matter of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, 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 yeah. Um
Um, <laughs> uh, Ross is like, you can have those ones. And, yeah, but that's how, how I think it came about. Very nice. Um, so I just asked them to update me on their current investigations. Uh, do you want to go first, Ross, or...? Um, well, we do have some things pointing to the uh, political state of this planet, which would be advisable not to investigate further due to the fact that uh, we might be stepping on a lot of people's feet. How so? Uh, well, it looks like that um, the governor or maybe the governor's aide is basically using his position to uh, profit from the empire and also basically causing uh, more upset around here. Um, we can't really investigate further without probably getting eye because the, of the, uh, the politicians due to the fact that uh, I've been informed that they do have reach outside this planet. Uh, you, you also do know that um, B1 does have XTS hardware um, installed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and have we, can we presume we've talked to... Um, Jed and Stumpy about their interaction with Saul Guerrero? Not yet. Okay, alright. Um, so... They, they haven't returned. Um, in, this, yep. in that sense then, um, I will report that eBay and Carl... Oh no, that's for you to report because you went off there. It's trying to account for people who weren't here. Um, so yeah, basically I've been doing research uh through uh, more uh, not squeak secret squirrel ways with the, the squirrel. I can't talk today. Um, secret hedgehog funds? I've been doing re research uh, using sort of more official terms as Sandemo and then the less official um, but still legitimate as long as you don't ask too many questions. Um, we didn't come out with any specific knowledge aside from the fact that we knew that um, it was more the Empire shutting down Des... Des... Desril... Desrilin? Desrilin? Derilin. Derilin. There we go. So, from what we're able to gather that the Empire was shutting down Derilin? Yeah, so there was um, what they call a revolution by insurgents because Derelin wanted to secede from the Empire and so the Empire went, sure, you can go that way but we're now going to very close to Glacier Planet um, and you guys are going to be starving and without resources and, and that's fine, we don't need to help you because you seceded from us. Um, and I think they annihilated a good many of them in, in you know, getting things in order um, and uh, our role at the moment is to investigate that from the Empire's point of view in the sense that we want to find more of these rogue planet dealings so that the Empire can also negotiate B1 style with them. Um, and from our own personal point of view, it, it's more like... Uh, to be honest, when I get time alone with you, I'll express my ethical concerns with what we're being required to do versus our service to the Empire. But that would be definitely not in this building. You know, that whole go to a Jamaican club where it's really loud and you can't hear anything. And there's lots of really good coffee. Alrighty. If I start talking gibberish, will you let me know? Because mm. I'm pretty close to it. I understand. No, it's a serious. If I haven't slept, I will start saying puppy god thing. Gotcha. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, okay. So, that's basically our investigation. Okay, you have a message up on the system pop up saying uh, uh, Lieutenant Sandemo uh, has left a message on the system for um, Khalid. Oh, 
Okay, cool. You check the message? Uh, yep. Okay, it is an audio recording from Sandimo. It says he's currently at uh, the governor's mansion. I'm going through their archives. Ooh. Uh, unfortunately, it is a uh, non-sanctioned investigation. Non-sanctioned by whom? Uh, non-sanctioned by the Empire. Okay. As in, uh, or any um, official um, way of doing so. Mm. Uh, even a sector rangers going through the archives would not be um, nope. politically okay, sound. Nope. He's working on his ethics now. Um, because I think we... We one found year, out I'm some very one year with us. Mm. So I think we've been a bad influence on him. Absolutely. Uh, he he really got himself into trouble for having ethics. Yeah. That's how he got demoted back to lieutenant. Yeah. And because we've been very frank with him, I think he's very upset about what the Empire is doing in killing, mass killing these people. Um, so he's kind of decided that he's made that decision to, to kind of work to his ethics rather than to the Empire. Which is when he got assigned to you guys. Yeah. Aw, I'm happy we have him. Well, I think he arranged that himself, but yeah. Thank goodness. And uh, he, he, in the message, he does say that uh, um, the uh, go the governor's systems uh, reported to the empire that all the people were paid. Oh, the union not mm -hmm. getting paid. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so the official. The, the official transcripts show that all the people were paid. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, the governor um, signed off on payments. Mm -hmm. um, everything is uh, above board on the official channels, but nothing matches up with their <coughs> um, uh, actual accounting records. So when they're comparing the paperwork uh, authorizing the payment and the actual account figures, it works out that they haven't been paid, but it looks uh, like they have. The money's come so, out. Yeah. So which way was the money supposed to be going? Was the Empire paying the government to the Union, or was the... The, the Empire paid... Uh, well, the, the taxes were coming into the governor's um, uh, property to pay each of the uh, people for the Empire purchasing their properties. Yep. And the money went out again, but they didn't go to the um, people who had um, per who, had, who had been purchased from. I have a lovely four-syllable word for everybody: embezzlement. Is that right? I'm sure you mean tactical fund provisions. I like your term a lot better. <laughs> I'm sure the government does too. And he does say that, uh, unfortunately, uh, the account that it's been transferred to is uh, um, off-planet. So he may actually have to um, travel to find out what's going on because he doesn't have uh, pull with the um, banking system. So maybe our exalted leader... You keep um, coming up with the exalted When does the Empire the take over the um, banks? You get uh, the Empire have already taken over the banks, banks, but they still have banking systems where the whole purpose of the planet is maintaining the uh, transactions. Yep. And without keeping track of where money comes from and where money goes, um, money is meaningless. Mm. So while, while the Empire took over a lot of these things, they didn't uh, dismantle them. Just made it easier to steal from. Yeah, because everything's better under the Empire. That's what they say. <laughs> I did not say that with sardonic or sarcastic tone whatsoever. <laughs> and Lieutenant Sandimo ends the message saying that he's going to check in with uh, some contacts he has to see if they can help. Okay. But that was sent to you personally, not to the yep. team. Because you had asked him to look into it. Yeah. Yeah, basically you need to work out where the money went. Because the money could be going to fund galactic terrorism. It could. Mm. You mean the Rebel Alliance, right? Um, yeah, sure. There is no alliance yet. <laughs> uh, it's the class is galactic terrorists. Looks like we're just at the Rebel stage, exactly. not the... <laughs> Alliance yet? <laughs> well, the alliance happens uh, probably in uh, five years from now uh, in the setting. That's what I was guessing. Yeah. 
without that. Because that happens about a year or two <laughs> before minutes. New Hope. So but the, the way um, B1's working, it might actually be um, starting in this office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, the more of you meet Zach to kill each other, the quicker we are to the droid uprising. Um, I think the droid uprising got slightly screwed up with the separatists. Separate, uh, separatists. Uh, there's always room for another. And that there's always more than one. Need inspiration, just watch Westworld. Just think of it like a jar of jar of party, but a little bit more. It does. Absolutely. Oh, good. And it's also interesting visuals. Yeah. All I see is a jar of party. Why do we have burnt looking Wookiees? They're not Wookiees, they're Jawas. Oh. Okay, so how come the uh, Jawas all of a sudden became six foot tall? Oh, no, I wasn't imagining they were six foot tall. Uh, all the Jawas have just roided up. It's all perspective. If you don't see them next to something else, they look taller than they are. Their pillow fights are played chicken style, where you have one on top of the shoulders of another one. <laughs> I had an art and another guy that always appears like three mini gnomes on top of the yeah, That's it. Wookiees, yeah. Wookiees are basically just a couple of Jawas. No, they're yeah. more like Ewoks on each other's shoulders. Yeah, Ewoks is yeah, more accurate than what they are. You know what I think someone did there? They were like, Wookiees are really cool, but you know what would be even cuter? Mini Wookiees. <laughs> and they did that. They literally did that for Return of the Jedi. It was oh. supposed to be the Wookiee homeworld. Mmm, gotcha. Why did they change it? Uh, it was more marketable as teddy bears. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no. Um, but also, could you imagine trying to fight that army of Wookiees? No, thank you. Ooh. Mm. That would be pretty difficult. They, they probably would not have won. Well, if you've played the um, online Star Wars game, the uh, Ewok in there is bloody dangerous. Mmm. <laughs> Just give one a lightsaber. I'm sure nothing will go wrong with that. Yeah, nothing at all. It's like giving a jar a lightsaber. You really don't want to see that happen. <laughs> they reverse engineer it and then start selling knockoff sabers. Mm. Good thing Mike isn't here. <laughs> yeah, they keep they keep igniting on the wrong side and killing their uh, owners. <laughs> um, so Carla, are you passing any of this information about the embezzlement? Um, I will, but it will be not now. <laughs> Sorry, out of base because of yep. um. The, was the walls, walls have ears? <laughs> did the message that came through was that encrypted at all? Or? Well, it was um, sent to his uh, system, so it's still on uh, your network. So potentially the Empire can find out that Sandemo is doing this unofficial search. Mm -hmm. We need to talk to him about that. We may also need to talk to B1 and possibly eBay about uh -uh. developing <laughs> our own way of encrypting stuff so that we can protect people who are doing unofficial ser ser searches, including possibly ourselves. Can you do that? Can you encrypt? Mm -hmm. that's do a, that kind of if the computers? Yeah, yeah, and that that would definitely. And be you can build up a system that can be harder to break into. Yeah, yeah, and I figure that's something B one would be very skilled at. He's getting there. I don't think he'd consider it a hard job either. <laughs> I mean, look, I can I can encrypt anything. It's just a matter of how encrypted it is. Mm. And how much you want to be able to break into it. I can't get into my file, it takes 10 minutes. Oh, don't worry, let's just decrypt it. And what's it say? Meet you at 10. But it's taking half an hour to decrypt, it's now um, 10.30. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Was there anything from my individual investigation that I needed to share? Not that you're able to. Okay, cool. All, all you know is you succeeded. Woohoo! And you got some armor out of it. Nice. That's and some cakes. Yeah, because I want to figure out what I have to do to get armor. 
do a secret mission. Just be as awesome as Kesley. Exactly. That's impossible. <laughs> Tra- really, it is. Keep all your trainees alive and maybe you'll get something. Mm. Oh, this way. <laughs> she, she lost the arm and still won the battle. Um, are we finished doing the conference then? Uh, you have finished doing the conference? Yep. Um, can I take my trainees into um, either s- get them to come into the conference room or to meet me um, in a room where they can all fit? Yeah, just a conference room. Yeah, I figured yeah. that. But you said they weren't in there while we're doing no. this meeting, so I would call them in. Um, and. You said they've done all the computer modules. They haven't had any actual physical training? They have um, at the Commandant's uh, training facility. Okay. Oh, so they've been there. Um, they they all have there. to be there to be uh, uh, cold rangers. Okay. Um, they just haven't had any... Field um, experience. Yeah, field experience. Um, to do the rangers, like, I gather we've got a list of things we patrol and keep watch of and things like that. Well, currently you're on the lookout for uh, uh, people and organizations that are trying to be disruptive to the Empire. Um, and it's been given as your core duties. So just discussing this as a player, I was thinking of sending them out in pairs to just go and listen in on people. But, you know, maybe dressed in plain clothes or something like that. I don't know if that's possible. You can do community patrols. That's a fairly uh, common police tactic mm-hmm. where you put them into different types of like town squares and things mm-hmm. like that just to patrol, just to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. And should they suspect anything further, then that's when you would do it. Yeah, patrol. that's that's what I'm planning to do. But I also instruct them that if they see anyone, like little old ladies trying to cross streets, you know, someone drops a bunch of food or something, to be very helpful and nice to these Couldn't people. Couldn't we shoot up the town and see what happens? No. My strategy is to get the people to come to like and develop a bond with my recruits and then Welcome eventually to come to community policing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because if there's uh, community uh, like uh, you and so that this is uh, citizens on patrol. Kind um, of. It, it's <laughs> what's funny about this. This type of policing tactic was not used until about the 1980s. Yeah. Which but is it is actually very mm. effective. It's super effective. That's why it's and the that's recommended policing style. But that's it's just really funny that it hasn't been used. If I can do that, I want to send them out. And still that. doesn't get used enough. Exactly, it's not used enough because you still have too many like hard boiled old old timers and like, no, you just have to do this. <laughs> So okay. I, I can do that and send the, them that assignment. It can also be more effective if they're doing it in uniform. Because oh, then it's putting out... Yeah, you want them in uniform. Okay. Because it then it associates them with the sector rangers, yeah. not just with someone being helpful. Because if they're in plain clothes and they're doing all this helping, they're actually undermining the sector rangers. As I said, I hadn't quite thought it through and I'm well, happy with them being in their uniforms. Um, I was also thinking of giving them a, a few credits in case they need to get food and stuff like that. They would also they have, have that? They would have awesome. a uh, awesome. pay. I, I, I'm happy to... Um, your, your job's not to pay them, just to lead them. Well, I was thinking in the sense of when my work used to require me to work over a food period, they would give me some money out of petty mm-hmm. cash to buy that food because I would have to buy that food by nature of the task given me. And, um, I used to do that a lot on corporate services and that. So I'm thinking more like giving them credits on that basis, if that makes sense. Then you have sense. So that they're not out of pocket from their own pay yeah. because they're stuck out on the field all the time. It's a good point. You would have Betty set that up for them. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll set that up with Betty. Mm-hmm. Have you tried just completely ignoring their needs and making them pay their own way? No. I need them to admire and and become absolutely dutiful, devoted uh, recruits like I am to Kayana. I see we are built different. I have done nothing to earn this loyalty and I love it. Other than have a cool sword. It is much better if someone loves you and then they jump in the way of a bullet for you than if they don't love you and dodge out of the way of that bullet we'll or go. push you in front of it. I'm just saying they were just afraid of me. Hey, hey look, I can get a promotion push. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, that's the um, Imperial way. <laughs> yeah. 
We're going the Mandalorian way, which is to respect people until they prove themselves. You respect authority and you respect might. But unless Have you ever considered the B1 way? <laughs> well, the Mandalorian way is also if uh, someone's whoever's got the um, dark saber is the leader. B1, I will consider the B1 way when you turn up at my door on a Sunday morning with your little books and pamphlets and we can sit down and have coffee and tea together where you explain to me how your way works. Uh, that's really uh, anti-robotist. How am I supposed to have tea and coffee, you robot racist? <laughs> Ding dong. You Hello, don't have oil. I don't know what you consume. Hello, my don't name be is. so culturally insensitive, you robot racist. Ding dong. I think sure. somebody wants an oil bath. Um. My name is Elder B1. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, ding dong. What do they used to call themselves? They're, well, you have Mormons and you have Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. They the, both do that. Yeah, I, I, I had I friends with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, some, when I was yeah young. some Christian churches do that as well. I felt that it sucked because every Christmas came around and she's like, oh, I'm going to have Christmas. I'm like, oh my god, that's sad. Because <laughs> yeah. even if it's a commercialized thing, it's. When you're a kid, you don't get that. Exactly. Anyway, so, um, until you become a Jehovah's Witness Mormon-like door knocker, I will do things the true striker way. <laughs> I think B1 um, would probably be a bit more of Scientology. Yeah, B1 would be more of Scientologist. B1's not averse to forming and or maintaining a cult, as long as it's worshipping him. Scientologists believe in aliens though. Uh, yeah, so it's a great sci-fi book. It's Dynamics is a great sci-fi yeah. book. Um, Hubbard. Um, yeah, Elrond Hubbard, Hubbard, Hubbard made yeah. it up. Out of it. You guys on a bet. should do the research on Elrond Hubbard's um, illustrious military career. God damn, it's hilarious. It is. <laughs> um, Isn't it all made up that he just made up? Oh shit! He made. Uh, so he was shit. technically in uh, in the U.S. Navy, you know but every one of his accol uh, accol accolades accolades is completely fabricated. So you know, okay, I thought it was the Coast Guard. That's funny. Uh, you know how a lie is built on a basis of truth? Mm -hmm. He's got this very thin, fragile hair line of truth in there. That's funny. And then the rest is all... Well, he's, he, he's yeah. perfect to be a fiction writer because he, yep. he wrote his He whole makes up life. everything. And as David was saying, some of the shit that he... Yeah. It is funny. Uh, I, mean, I, I was listening to a podcast on him literally this week. It oh, really? is hilarious. Yeah. Who was that? Oh, um, we uh, behind the bastards. Mm -hmm. anyway, sorry. <laughs> Maybe not. So have they done one about Steven Seagal? Uh, I don't think they have yet. <laughs> I think Netflix says. He is an interesting person to find out that he was a stunt double. Yeah. And oh, trainer. Dude, Seagal is hilarious and amazing. I I can't hate him for just how insane he is. I'm not sure where he lives, but where he lives, he trains. Uh, new recruits for the police department. Yeah, and they do it yeah, he, because he it's was, just he so was the funny. He, he was, was the sheriff. sheriff. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you guys remember when you were playing Star, Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, back to Star Wars. This is where we say only in America. <laughs> oh. Will they make someone a sheriff like that? All right. Sorry. Back to game. All good. Back to game. Where were we? Something about... Uh, I sent out my recruits mm -hmm. to do their thing. I've set up with Betty to give so them... So how do you inspire them? Um, They're all looking up at you expectantly. Oh, great. Puppy, puppy dog dogs. eyes. So I'm going to um, pronounce that I am... Uh, I am a true striker. Mm -hmm. uh, and our values are... Our values are respect. What, what are the Mandalorian preach? I'm basically going to preach that. Um, What's which one? Going? You got the fanatical one, which we're definitely not. No, no. Don't ever take off your helmets. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not not that one. Um, but I put it in the front of this somewhere. Sorry for. Oh, you do have it somewhere. Yeah, here it goes. Code of honor. 
so I tell them strength is life for the strong have the right to rule. Every one of you can move up in your ranks if you perform diligently. Um, you know, you won't be recruits forever if, if you go by this. Um, uh, honour is life though, for without honour, uh, you might as well all be dead, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, and loyalty is life, for without a uh, clan, so we're a family, and without us, you know, we don't survive as well, so they need to be loyal to us. Um, and we will make sure that we take care of them in turn. They will never be alone if they find themselves in strife. We will always come and get them. Um, and I'm going to leave it there because I think after that it gets just a little bit more scary rather than inspiring. <laughs> I thought you were about to start quoting the Sith Code. No, no. <laughs> there can be only two. <laughs> um, Here, here's a gun. <laughs> I, I basically give them a soft, softer but uh, more inspiring version of the Mandalorian code mm -hmm. of honor. Um, and just emphasize that if they work hard and diligently, they will be rewarded. And if they ever find themselves in trouble, they can always come to me. And no matter where they are, what they're doing, I will always track them down if something happens. <laughs> Whether that's mm. a, a that does sound a bit threatening at the same time. No, I suck. I'm not up to... No, it's okay. Uh, it, it, it's inspiring and threatening. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah okay. Fine. Yeah, we'll leave and it if she can't find you, I will. <laughs> and I want peace of mind. Eli's not in the room, mm -hmm. right? Yay. You'll eventually become a lesson, either to yourselves, your other, <laughs> your other, uh, your other friends, or potentially to my medical students. Okay. So, have we got a, a um, like a map of the city? So we can actually organise uh, beat patrols? Well, um, we, we did have uh, 10 uh, go out before your students show up. Yeah, um, I asked uh, earlier whether or not we would have regular s patrols and things that we did as sector rangers. So I, my plan was to send them out on those predetermined patrol routes that, mm. that we would normally do. Since we have 20, I would recommend that you have uh, rotating shifts mm. in yeah. uh, spot like spots to patrol mm -hmm. so um, like you'll have night shift day shift yeah. sort of thing um, so we've got what 17 apparently your day shift so six six and five uh, just imagine so, the um, response to any sort of violence here like one of the groups gets into a fight and then the entire the entire group just responds with overwhelmingly deadly force. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but I'm hoping they're sensible not to do that. I don't know if I can do this. Well, basically we're equivalent of squad. Us, yeah. uh, tell Khaled that this is what I'm doing and then if he agrees, we split up into three shifts. Six, six, five. And then we've got a five, but... Do three, you do three shifts, do... Um, I guess if you want to do in terms of like hours, you have a shift from uh, <laughs> sorry, Matt, um, six to two, two to ten, and ten yep. to six. Yeah, that's the only the other issue is we don't really have that many patrol vehicles. No, they're on foot. They're on foot patrol. And the fun thing for you is you have twenty-eight hours in the day to organize it over. Oh, there's 28 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then you do... The current obstacle I'm trying to resolve is if we put them out in pairs, we're one short of a pair. So I'm considering whether or this not This is I on desktop, then. Th no. Uh, 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 three of them. Just a sec. So I was thinking of seeing, talking to Kiana about the unlikely possibility uh, of them. rotating on. one of each uh, of... Uh, B1's uh, recruits into each of the shifts, so... Well, you put your five... You can put your five as an overnight shift. So... So there's 28 hours in the day. So do... Eight to... Sixteen. Sixteen to... Twenty-six. Right? No. It'd be 18 to 24. And then... No, that still leaves four hours. It's nine and a half hour shifts. Yeah. If you're rotating over three shifts. Hey, but 
Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. We'll just do that. So I think it's something like nine point two 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 or three. You're better off having ten hour shifts with overlap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten hour shifts overlap. That would work. Um, so if I'm allowed to back pace and put mm-hmm. in that discussion with Carlo before I send them all off, and um, we nominate who's first shift, who's second. Who's and you normally have um, one shift starting before sunrise. Yeah. Being the being the main shift. And then because people are normally crankiest in the morning. You are, yeah, you are then the, the second hours. the second shift being the uh, next largest and the third shift being the smallest because yeah. that's when you got the least people to have to worry about. Exactly. Um, so I gather in the name of expediency you're happy with that? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so Martin's I don't know if you heard Ross, but he's happy for us to have discussed this together. Yep. Uh, do you want to give your own version of inspiring speech to to the group? Be safe out there. I love it. Let's go. Which means B1 was definitely there giving his inspiring words at the same time. Yeah, okay, B1, do Don't you want to give your I'll turn you around, I'll cut you up for science. What was that? Don't die or I'll cut you up for science. Don't die or I'll cut you up for science. There you go. We've got some very witty, pithy senior officers. And the funny thing is, um, if they do die, they're not going to care about being cut up for science. Well, I was just trying to let B1 have his moment. Okay, so yes, well, as long as I get to cut up some cadavers, I'm good. Yep, and now oh, the we can send you down to the mall if you really want. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, you send your first squad out for the day. A little later than their normal shift, but hey. They just started. We just got them with. We're starting now. And, and they're the first day, anyway. And they're beat cops, so they're basically walking. Yep. Well, that's the idea of a community patrol. Mm-hmm. We, we need, need a rapid response team. team. That's you guys. Yeah, we are the rapid response team. That's why we've got all the I'm guns. I'm far too busy for that nonsense. You may be. You're a tech crew. But the rest of us are. You can, you can head up the special investigation team if that's what you want to turn your, your guys into. Yep. Special investigations team, so the forensics unit. Your SVU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the music there. Dun dun. Dun where every interaction that you have with any other character, you uh, each NPC gets three lines and then they're off the screen. <laughs> That's how it goes. Continue. Yeah, but then he also has to get the sunglasses. Oh, do- oh God. <laughs> I can only imagine the- <laughs> And he has to make the witty... Co- you have, co- to- <laughs> have to make the bad jokes. Remember, I had to put the sunglasses on after making the joke. Yes. I'm sure David could come up with many one-liners that sound just like B1. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you guys have told me that I have to do it, so I'll do it later on. <laughs> <laughs> as, he puts, as he puts the sunglasses on. And I'll just be like, where did you get sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you see the uh, B1 TV show. Especially as B1 mm. doesn't have eyes. He does. He does. But, like but they, the, d- they look like lines. Not like eyes, eyes. But the, like, the eyes don't move. Exactly, so there's no need for sunglasses. Well, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> what was racist? <laughs> Saying that P1 doesn't have eyes. <laughs> and he doesn't need sunglasses because his eyes doesn't move. But he needs the cool factor. See, that's the difference. He does need sunglasses for that. And he does have uh, a popular TV show. Well, yeah, Which you find out about after um, seeing the ads for it pop up. And I'm just like, not another one. <laughs> need to start doing TV show. Uh, and it's basically um, it's a show all about Leet and mm-hmm. he is uh, uh, the, the Leet hunter of Ooh, very the, cool. the most well known hunter on, on the planet very nice <laughs> and how he uh, beleets everyone ah so it's like dog about hunting basically nice <laughs> he said more lethal yeah. <laughs> oh no yeah, and now and then uh, some jowlers appear in his show too and he has teamed up with um, eBay to start um, uh, planning a new show. Yeah, 
Oh, I was going to say, didn't eBay get searched? E- eBay has his own um, show about uh, criminals behaving it's badly. It's reality show. That was in my notes, but I thought you would have watched that. That's what, yeah, I got that part. <laughs> That's funny. And so so that one's going uh, trending everywhere. Fun times, fun times. And everyone now knows the uh, purple-eyed job. <laughs> Very nice. With the bling. Yeah, this probably doesn't have any concern at all, but we have such a public But you know what? We'll deal with it. It's fine. Then you found out they got to um, speak at the award ceremony where the other guys got their uh, promotions. Fine. They're just like, hey, this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were quite um, funny. They still talk about it on the news. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so we send, send them out, do their thing. Um, I guess That's going to sound so weird on the video. Probably. <laughs> um, he's just started a new medication. It's looking pretty down, so I figured. Oh, might as well just Yeah. Poor guy. Well, it's pretty traumatic for him. Yeah. Because uh, he really doesn't like it and it tastes like crap. Poor but he needs it, so. I get to be the big bad person who gives him pills. In the last time we tried to give him pills, his tooth was coming out, so he has oh. bad connotations with it because yeah. uh, instead of sticking down, one of them would do- go like this across the other one. That's very bad. Yeah. And the vet let us have his tooth. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, kind of. It also seems a little bit weird. It's very long. It's it is. It's like three times as long as we thought it was. Yeah, no, it's entirely fair. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Bigger than you expected. At this stage, it's innuendo, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Means, yeah. In your endo. Hey. Yeah. Just gonna go bathroom quickly. Oh, All good. You also hear from the others that uh, Piper has surfaced. Yes. Yep. In the care of a Wookie. In the care of a. Wookie. Is now going by Jed, correct? Gotcha. And this Wookiee's name, as far as I know, is Stumpy. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Uh, as a bounty hunter that has a reputation for leaving stumps behind. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very cool. So, most people have been giving up when they find out this bounty hunter's that going after them. Mm. Because you don't give up, she disarms you. Disarms. <laughs> Move arms. Tink. <laughs> Doesn't carry handcuffs. <laughs> Just carries your hands. <laughs> Alrighty. Doesn't always give them back. Yeah. Alright, so I'm assuming that uh, Jed and Stumpy are off on whatever they're doing. And eBay is being called off for another shoot. Yeah, totally fair. <laughs> and, and shoot has multiple connotations because it generally ends in a gunfight. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Sounds like you do. But it has been cleaning up the criminal underworld one um, person at a time. Very interesting. And they all get their five minutes of fame, which they've applied for. <laughs> it's, a, it's a volunteer show only. Oh gosh. Hey, Mom, look, I'm on TV. And then mm-hmm. you're arrested. Door shot. <laughs> Sounds so much of 2000 AD. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess from here, we're just waiting to see if the patrol shifts before entry. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been told to check in every half hour. Yep. yep. So if something goes wrong, you'll find out about it soon enough. Yep. Well, Carolyn's going to go for his usual coffee break across the road with the cafeteria and just catch up with any local costs that's happening. Mm -hmm. Is B1 doing anything with his recruits? Oh, there's a constant and... um, unending and torturous training regime that they're going through. Um, a lot of them, the mechanic off. is learning how to wax on and wax off. 
the other one has to play Space Invaders with the highest difficulty, and the other one is having to operate on diseased rats. Uh, so, I actually, I actually commend well. the one for this training. I was like, this is actually useful. They may not see it, but you know what? This is good. <laughs> okay, so, you, you seem to see that your recruits seem to be doing pretty well. You've got a bunch of them uh, resting up for when their shift's up. Mm -hmm. You can see, uh, getting reports that the others are going through the city. At the moment, with your groups, I'd probably say that there would be... Probably what? How many are we going to send through at a time? So, six? Six, six, six five. Mm -hmm. so, this, so, group, three groups. Mm-hmm. So yes, you've got the, uh, if there's six in the first shift, that means there'll be three teams. Yep. I was making sure I got the numbers right. Yep. And you sit there, they're wandering through different parts of the city. One of them um, st checking out uh, the spaceports, one checking out the casinos. Yep. And one basically wandering up and down the various streets trying to uh, make sure nothing out of the obvious is happening. Now let's see how much they're able to notice. Yeah. Well, they're, they're happily walking up and down the streets. Do that do 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 do. Okay. So that, that, that means they don't actually notice anything yeah. about them. Of course, they don't notice nothing. There's always bad stuff happening, but hey. <laughs> they didn't think it was their jurisdiction. <laughs> the whole thing is their jurisdiction. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's, there's still the police around, too. Yeah. You have jurisdiction over the entire sector. That's the whole point of the sector, Ranger. Mm -hmm. I chalk it up to them being newbies. That's their first day in the job. It's a training point. <laughs> the, the last thing they want to do is um, chase down every person who's committing a crime. Yep. Because what do they do when they're chasing down one person and they see someone else committing a crime? Do they stop and, uh, and let stop the other person go? Yeah. Entirely correct. So, so they're reporting any of the petty crimes they witness. Because they, they believe they're looking after uh, loftier goals. Oh, they'll probably just give a warning and that's about it. Well, that, that would require them to actually stop and not look for those bad things they're supposed to be out looking for. So while that's happening, what does everyone else want to chase down? Cadaver and uh, an absolute junk heap uh, hot, uh, speeder and some sort of devastating computer virus. Why do you want a bloody computer virus for? I've got one guy who I'm training in computing, one guy who's yeah, a good chance that might actually end up getting into the mainframe. Oh well. <laughs> Who are we talking about here? This is B1. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm talking. You probably end up putting it in the mainframe. I never asked your character at all. Okay, so so Betty says uh, there's already a crappy speeder in the um, garage that um, she's uh, unsure why it's still running. Is that Evo's? Yes. <laughs> Cool. B1 drags the mechanic pleb down there, throws him at it, and says, make it work. I feel really sorry for those three recruits. 
Yep. <laughs> On the upside, if they survive, they will be damn good. Yep. <laughs> And I'm looking at the chances of Single survival swim, being and two you out of three. Yeah. And uh, you, you don't care where the cadaver comes from? God, no. Okay. Um, why are we giving big one cadavers? I was joking about it before, but it looks like it's turned into game reality. You just requested one. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Betty has put out a request for a cadaver. Morgue? She doesn't say where she requested it. Okay. Yeah, no, don't ask. Don't, don't ask. The less you, the less you ask, the less you have to lie. Yeah, I understand that. I've, I've lived by this premise all my life. Ignorance is bliss. And, um... Uh, she is uh, currently um, searching for an appropriate super virus for you. Why are we giving B one a super, not a super virus? virus? Well, you wanted uh, to, you wanted to yeah, B one wasn't asking you for it. But who are you looking? Who are you asking for the virus from? Betty. That's what I mean. Betty was looking for a super virus for you. Should this at least yeah, be no, a alert so up somewhere? I was thinking more of a, a notification, someone's ordering a super virus, but meow meow works really well. Apparently um, she's found the um, cat virus. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed to make people play it because it has a cute um, kitten on it. Yeah. Yes, and it's and called Lucifer. Yep. Yeah. Um, so does any of us know about the super virus? Is Are you really yeah. getting a super virus B1? Did I start it? Okay. No. Um, do we have any way of knowing about this? Uh, sure, it pops up on um, Kayanu's. Um, yeah, uh, your problem. Yeah. Uh, the, the request um, uh, pops up that B1 has requested some supplies for training. It, it's listed as supplies for training, or yeah. does it pop up supervisors? No, it pops up for supplies for training. Approve. Deny. It's B1, I'm pretty sure she'll check anyway, but ignorance is bliss until we all die from that super virus. No, it's No, been, it's when it's the Godola actually has a super virus in it. It's been a year and B1 has shown to be good at training these recruits or at least approve of his literally everything they he's ever extreme, done they do work mm -hmm. i approve okay so it, it goes off mm. yeah well, it's a terrible idea okay okay so yes uh, i uh, just wanted someone else to blame other than me yeah so perfect so so, so betty has uh, uh impounded um ebay as um vehicle until it's Roadworthy. Oh god. And so, uh, and it's been assigned to B1 to be made roadworthy. <laughs> He'll just get his minions to do it now. Well, yeah, that's what the, the point. Yeah, no, I want nothing to do with it. That guy's gonna make it work or he's gonna get hurt trying. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, then, uh, uh, you, you've been also notified that a uh, package is on its way from the medical center to um, uh, your facility and will be there within the hour. That's to Kyana? Well, she, uh, to B1. Oh, okay, so it's to B1, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my blood basket. Yeah, no, I, I, I gather that. Um, I just wasn't clear who was getting the message because we did the other notification thing. And uh, B1 gets a little kitty icon that um, looks cute and says, click me. Jesus Christ, no. Um, <laughs> he's going to set up a completely physically isolated uh, terminal with absolutely no network connections. Mm -hmm. oh, please get him. Get he's not even going to touch whatever device is on that, uh, that, that, that that attachment is attached to. Mm hmm is going to get the uh, the the pleb 
Uh, the computer pleb? Well, and, it's, it's uh, being passed uh, through the network to you. Jesus! So only can get to it? <laughs> no, anyone can. Oh, okay. Well, it's so on the network. Oh, it's it's on the no! Yeah, no, force delete. I don't care. Force delete. Like, it, it just it, delete it from existence. It never happened. Okay. I'll find another one. Uh, you, you delete it and it reappears uh, the moment after you delete it. Sweet bucket Jesus. What the hell? You, you, you did ask you for. You were in it and pretend it never existed. <laughs> Oh, so you, this super virus isn't a biological virus, it's a technological yeah, no, virus. No. This is perfect. Yeah, it's per Please it talk it to right me until it gets into a droid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I need uh, a, 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 as Miron walks away, he hears this meowing noise in his head. Meow. Meow. We're going to stop meowing. Just every once in a while, he'll hear meow. <laughs> So now, it is, anytime a cat is on the microphone, it's a computer virus. Oh, God, it's hurting so bad. Oh. You want a soda string? So, yes, uh, apparently you have slightly accessed it by trying to delete it. <laughs> How do you slightly access something? You looked at it. Oh. That's the only thing I can Anyone goes and yells at, um, at Betty oh. for having the complete lack of foresight of sending a virus through an electron through electronic means through network means. Uh, she says she put the request in. She hasn't received any notification of it coming yet. She'll let you know when it arrives. It already has. It shouldn't have. She says uh, she hasn't request. She she hasn't received the paperwork yet. But here's the paperwork yeah, for the cadaver. I'm infected with this stupid disease, stupid virus. You'll have to ask mm. Betty if she hears me yelling. She suggests you have one of your um, students look at you. I am very disappointed. Well, isn't that the ultimate test, she says? We're supposed to put them at risk when we test them, not me. You gotta back up, don't you? She asks. Probably. I don't know. Don't care. Let's find out. Um, the back up. Anyone goes right? and find his technological. Yeah, anyone goes and find his technological idiot and uh, starts instructing him on uh, computing, splicing, and generally. Um, I can't say the word on this particular video. <laughs> I'm doing the damage that's being done. Okay. I would have him practice on the closed system first, perhaps? Before he... You would, it. yeah. I, I, I would, yeah. No, I, I, I'm fully aware of that, probably. <laughs> and look, I, I as a person would as well. B1, but not. Yeah, B1's already over it. Okay, he, he pulls out his uh, computer and plugs it into you. And you hear meow, 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 meow come over the computer as he plugs it in. And you see little cats running across the screen. He has no idea what's going on. It's the Nan cat virus. Yep, it sure is. Um, B1 will start doing his splicing. <laughs> is it like uh, the um, Nico program where you've got the kitten chasing after the mouse? Very much so. And when no, it catches no, the mouse, the mouse is no, cool. Yon cat. It is 100% Yon Cat. Now, there's a lot of worse things you can have, I mean, being affected by. Yeah. Mm hmm. B1 starts acting like a cat. I am greatly amused by this if I see it. Uh, B1 will self destruct. <laughs> I now leave the building to go get myself a coffee, even though I don't need to. You can go join Ross across the street. Yep. Or Carlin across the street. Yep. Um, I'll catch up with Carlin and talk to him about managing our new recruits and their patrols. Okay, you, you get reports from the recruits that uh, they, they haven't really seen anything in, uh, uh, cr criminal worth noting. What on do you their mean by worth noting? That's what they say in their reports. 
But uh, then they're not actually communicating with you directly. This is the notes they're putting onto the system. Oh, okay, so it's coming up. Uh, mm. Can I interact with the system? Sure. Remain vigilant. Okay. <laughs> I'm a product of my leader. And I, I now have images of them doing uh, sneaking around, um, trying not to um, get shot from behind by whatever's attacking them in the middle of the street. Oh, but they've been told to remain vigilant. Are they doing their own theme the music? music. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> Upload theme music now. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it that we've all <laughs> went there and we're just like crop. <laughs> yes. Hidden. <laughs> Hidden. Uh, yeah. So about five minutes later, you see a pair of them going side, sideways uh, across the uh, window as they're looking across the street uh, vigilantly so as they're going, going past. within feet of me? Yep. All right, I'll go out there. Did you yell at them? No, I'm not going to yell at them. Um, I'm going to... So I tell them, you, being vigilant doesn't mean attracting attention to yourself. You need to act like a normal Be casual. behavior. Be casual. This is how best you you do surveillance, and and you keep keep. Sorry, my mouth has stopped working. Working. They hand you coffee. Uh, the, sorry, brains, brain, take a second. Brain shutting down. Yeah. All good. Uh, you you speak to them about um being um l less obvious about their vigilance. Being observant while also being casual and helpful to any citizens who may need it, and uh, like being cops does not constitute acting. Uh, rangers, yeah. Being rangers, but they're not cops. Yeah, being rangers does not constitute acting acting like weirdos. They are, they are members of the sector of rangers. They need to condone them or conduct themselves with. Uh, a plum, a air of authority, mm. while also being approachable. Um, this will be covered in next week's training. <laughs> <laughs> it's so appropriate. Pre presuming that uh, I don't have other things to do, I'm actually going to at least once a shift with different recruits accompany them around patrolling. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling they need a little bit more supervision for a while. There you go. I talk normally. I was waiting for the body cams and uh, streaming, uh, uh, and you'll watch them all from there. Already um, had body cams? <laughs> Not necessarily. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next well, hit, you well, should put a request. Rangers. <laughs> what you don't see can't be reported on. Uh, okay, here yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah I won't put the request in, but I'm I'm making a mental note that this might be something. We need to do next time. So yes, uh, they, they head off down the street, yeah. looking a little more casual, and yeah. they've turned off their theme music. Yeah, that, that, that's oh, good. Fun. Theme theme music is for when you're off duty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I totally encourage them to create their own theme music. I'm sure a few of them will start the Mission Impossible thing while working with um, B1. Please know it's got that side. <laughs> <laughs> <person. laughs> it's good music though, which is such a shame. <laughs> Not started before him. Is this when they're, they're um, trying to fix the speeder and they've yeah. found explosives in it? Yep. Now they have to disarm it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so yes, uh, in the uh, garage, there's lots of swearing coming over the um, camera feed. As various uh, times the guy keeps touching the um, speeder, he gets shocked. I'm sure he's like, how the heck was this? And I'm together? guessing, I'm guessing B1's just watching it and chuckling every time he gets zapped. Quite possibly. No, B1's super scared about being in, being properly infected by a deadly virus. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it deadly in that there's he something else? He briefly takes a it, second, or? looks over to the mechanic one, and is just like, don't die. <laughs> it's too expensive to replace you. <laughs> um, I always used to tell my, my clients, and, uh, I would always be like, hey, don't die while you're with me. I don't want to do that much paperwork. That works. Yeah. Well, Rachel, when I collapsed in the coals twice, 
the second time she's like oh my god and I'm like I'm sorry you know it was after I recovered I'm like I'm really sorry she's like no it's not you the paperwork is going to kill me because <laughs> <laughs> every time I have a fall you especially in public yeah. she has to write up all the her circumstances yeah. her response etc et I'm like oh Jesus Christ let's just try and stay home mm-hmm. <laughs> It does get like that sometimes. It's hard having a babysitter everywhere you go, though. Okay, so back to the game. Yep, sorry. All good. Uh, you have, So, Ross, uh, what's your character trying to do while we have uh, B1 trying to um, delete the uh, Meow virus? Uh, I thought the security system was only on... Um, was it uh, the good uh, speeder, not the crappy one? I noticed that it was a security system that was shocking him. <laughs> oh, shocking. I thought it was, you said it was shooting. No, shocking. Okay. Uh, maybe he should disconnect the power source first before he uh, tries playing around with it. Uh, where do you think most of the shock's coming from? <laughs> Keep in mind, this is uh, Ivea's speeder, so like things are hooked up or things should not be hooked up, but somehow it works. It hasn't killed the Jawa yet. I was going to say, he's going to have to roll to not have his mind blown if they completely rewire that thing, but do it properly. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, iron-on uh, gun that uh, that we've got. What? So, you, so you want to make him have to um, replace every bit of wire in that vehicle? B1 would. Mm. I have to if it keeps on shocking him for anything. If you if you go to help him, B one will throw a wrench at you. Okay, maybe you should put some thermal gear on. Or that, uh, a- again, you're 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 helping someone that supply sent to someone else. So what are you doing while you're across Excellent the street? I'll be sure to I'll be sure to keep that in mind. So um, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm Ross, gonna, you're still what? actually in the cafe with me across the street. Yeah. So you oh, need to move your character into yeah. that space if you want to interact. No, no, no. I, I'm basically, with um, B1's teaching computer and that, since I'm useless at it, I might as well jump in and punch it as well. Yeah, well, I, I, I was just explaining, Martin was saying that you yeah. need to yeah, move from the cafe to the garage. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. So I'm planning Sorry. on learning how to use the computer because my use of computer is basically thumb it. Hey, it's computer, please help. It. So, uh, where does uh, Khalid go then? He heads into the training? Yeah. Okay, so you, you, you join B1 with his Meow virus. You see lots of cute cats running across the screen on the uh, trainee's um, computer. Yeah. Okay. This is cute. Is, is B1 meowing yet? No. Oh, damn, I'm waiting for that moment. I know, right? Just ready for it. Yeah. I, I'm sure. Oh, Oh, I didn't know you liked uh, that type of thing. And done. <laughs> but the screen suggests you do. It's not a thing you have to keep secret. We're an unconditionally accepting group. Why not here, here go away? Why not here go away? Gotta thank you for your, for your dedication. Since we are actually don't have the equipment, you ins- infecting yourself with a virus is very self-sacrificing. <laughs> if, you, if you keep talking, I'm gonna hurt you. I've recently been upgraded with combat and uh, combat abilities. And he ends up with a yeah. Unplugs himself from the computer, uh, goes into an. Air, uh, wait, are we still on the surface or are we on a ship? Uh, you, you are in the. You, you're in the um, office of the Sector Rangers. Damn it! There's no noise in space. Uh, B1 can seriously considers infecting everything with this virus so that uh, he's not the only one who has to deal with it. Oh, God. <laughs> so, is, is this where you uh, hit the play button on the network? Don't. Please don't. No. <laughs> oh, God. Like, 
Thank goodness. We love you. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure eventually there'll be. Oh, hit this button. This looks interesting. I'm sure I can at least convince one of the other two players to do so. So it was a, uh, a certain jail. I'm sure I convinced one of the other two players to push the button and play oh, the uh, yeah, cat videos. Yeah. It's a good thing eBay is off making these reality shows because we'd be in trouble. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, uh, what, uh, what do you two do now that you've unplugged from the computer? Uh, yeah, B1 goes back to his training and shows this little tin head how to basic how to identify viruses and uh begin working on removing them okay let's see um how to be splicing yep and i think since b1 has been very inspirational i believe the um Trainee is being one with the universe. Well, he's been given uh, inspiration on what to do. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Neo virus is not going to prevent B1 from hitting the rich. Ooh, that's a fun roll. Oh, there's not a despair in there. Yeah, no. There is no despair in there, but hey, I'm sure I can get closer next time. For some reason, I got there's a despair in there. Yeah, there's a cat yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Hey, unlike one of the Shadowrun games, I actually got a double despair on one of the rolls. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my god. It was amazing. Was a magic spell too. Hey, thank goodness. So, so his magic spell hit the entire party. So yes, you ended up with three successes and two advantages as you wiped the meow virus um, off the computer, the uh, instruct that the um, uh, recruit is using. Can I just be in front of someone to say how the hell did I do that? Well, you, you, uh, uh, well, you were showing him what to do, so you uh, cleaned the virus off the computer he was using so he could then do it to you. Oh, Jesus. So, would you like to see his roll? Uh -huh. Yeah, go on. A big one idly fiddles with a wrench. Okay, so there's the despair. <laughs> okay, so. Cat protocol uploaded. Really not good. I don't think your recruit learned much. So uh, he he apparently finds the um, virus and clicks here. He's like, oh, wrench to the head. Uh, so yes, uh, you, you managed to uh, implement your meow attack. So if oh, if, if we want literally get a wrench to a head, are we up for murder now? Hold on, hold on. You did a meow attack. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, that is the last thing we need to worry about right now. Meow. Um, <laughs> right. So is B1 hissing? Uh, literally. <laughs> you just broke it, Kesley. You can just imagine you enjoyed you. Uh, and that now he sounds like Meow from Pokemon. Oh, God. Oh, Meow. <laughs> All right. Um, so B1 grabs him by the hair, drags him to the medical suite, brings the uh, medical student, uh, grabs a pair of wireless headphones, surgically attaches to surgically attaches one of them to the guy's ears, instructs the other guy on how to surgically attach them to his ears, and continually plays meowing the meowing that B1 uh, hears. <laughs> That just sounded really extreme. I'm not even quite sure I computed what was going on there. Uh, so, so, so yes, uh, apparently one of your um, uh, recruits has now got medically um, attached um, headphones. Why did you oh, super okay. glue headphones to his ears? So that he has to hear the meow as well. 
Which makes it very hard for him to hear other instructions. I'm worried. That's all right. B1's happy to relay all all other uh, sound to him if he needs to. I'm just worried. I'm really hoping Kayana somehow finds out about this because it looks like the situation is deteriorating rapidly. <laughs> B1 so I think attempts to show. B1 continues to attempt to show him how to extricate the virus from B1's own programming. Fair enough. And it sounds rather adorable as a cat. See, I don't think Khan is coming down there anytime soon because it's just so funny. No, I am a monitor. Uh, did the medical student learn yeah. anything about surgical attachments? Uh, y yes, he did. Super glue's his friend. So it'll, it'll come off. You, you'll, you'll all be hearing the meow. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. meow, meow. Um, and uh, then you get news of your cadaver has arrived. Oh, good. Well. So calm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, it turns out both of these students are going to be learning about computing and medicine because they can't be trusted on their own. Multi-school? Um, well, they're going to be on school. So now the computer idiot is going to learn about dissection and surgery as well as the medical guy he's also going to learn. That is fair. So you, you've got... Uh, the basic biological anatomy mm -hmm. of sometimes the mammals. Uh, l luckily for you, a, um oversized um, uh, uh, male had been procured. Here. Cool. No. Oh. The eating else for human. No, no. Look, just surgical techniques in general, being an assistant, being a surgeon's assistant, anything like that. Okay, so as the cadaver's brought up, you find out it's a Wookie cadaver. Oh, this isn't going to end well. What? What? Are, where did the what? Wookie cadaver, oh no. Maybe not have been dead earlier. <laughs> this is a great way to test your recruits on uh, determining time of death. <laughs> or cause of death. B1 will do a number of things before any sort of surgi surgical uh, mm. uh, operations. B1 will check to make sure that the cadaver is actually a cadaver. That's that's a good idea. Uh, so, what is it you're you're wanting to do? Oh, sorry, I had something else pop sorry, up at the same time. Is the Wookie is the Wookie actually dead? Okay, so uh, you do a medicine check, or do you ask them to do it? <laughs> uh, B one is going to do one of his own. He's also going to use his medical scanner um, to check whether the Wookie is dead or not. And I'll tell the recruits, take notes. Okay, so y your scanner does determine that the Wookiee did die. And okay, B1 will attempt to show the trainees just how to tell, how to manually tell if the subject is dead. Uh, and you can tell that he, it was um, killed via um, uh, what appears to be a uh, Mandalorian vibro sword. By the uh, length and shape of the wounds. Uh, How recently? Uh, within the last week. What are you? You were out on a oh, mission. We don't know. This could be part, part of your secret squirrel engagement. Yep. No, that's fine. Are you just purposely uh, overlooking uh, that? Yeah. No, no, within the last week is fine. Okay. As long as it's not, not within the last few hours. Hour okay. or so. Um, yeah, oh, and good. just general medical procedures, surgical oh, assisted good. tasks, um, familiarization with surgical tools, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So on and so forth. I said it happened within the last week. No, no, but we've recently had a Wookiee come into our lives, and mm -hmm. I'm. That would worry that that might be. So this is a male Wookiee. This yes. is a male Wookiee. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. 
Uh, is there any actually name? I thought it might actually be Stumpy. For this no, cadaver? So stumpy, no. uh, it, it has an ID stamp um, for um, uh, date it was logged into the blog. No, uh, no other details provided. Um, if Carlin says another word, B1 will kick him out of the operating theatre. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no, I just looked at the tag. I think that's going to be harder yep. than you think. You, you just have a, um, a, a basically an ID um, date stamp. Uh, okay, yeah. As each one is logged by the same by by the one team, they're always unique. Okay. Because yeah. it's location date. Yeah, yeah. So would that tell them anything about what happened? It was logged in about a week. Just, just unimportant. So yes, uh, B1 now has a... just a medical subject. So you now have a body to do a uh, uh, your research on. There you go. Yeah, uh, general training, general training continues and intensifies. Okay. So yes, they're busy for a while. Uh, what does Carly do now that he's been kicked out of the med lab? No, he didn't actually get kicked out. If he said another word, he was going to get kicked out. Oh, okay, to observe. Okay. Because uh, as many people knowing medicine as possible is probably a bonus. Okay, so you get hands on the training too. okay with this. So apparently B1 has gained another recruit. So not only does he have rangers underneath him, he's got a sector ranger. Well, Carl had said he was going to get hands That's on. That's it. Yeah. Guys, this is Dr. Chuckles' School of Medicine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Chuckles' School of Medicine. The Dr. Chuckles' uh, School of Improv comes later this night. <laughs> yes. And also, tomorrow is Dr. Chuckles' Mechanics, uh, mechanics Institution. <laughs> You should be making reality videos. This should be the reality show. Okay, so about halfway through your um, uh, uh, walkthrough of anatomy of a Wookiee, uh, your mechanic um, shows up with um, Major Burns up his arms. <laughs> That's <laughs> Fix him. I'm so We get to medical. Good news. Turns out all three of my students are learning about medical procedures now. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them is a test subject. That's funny. Why do I think. Uh, what were the three students? Larry, uh, Larry Curley. Yeah, <laughs> Larry Curley and Mo. Just poking each other in the eyes and slapping each other on the face. <laughs> Very much like the pit droids do. Yeah, 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 actually. Yeah. Um, before B1 treats him, he asks, did you get it running? Uh, he, he said yeah. no. He couldn't even turn it on. I suppose I should give you a little bit of instruction here. Uh, he bandages <laughs> up the wound, he cleans and bandages the wound. Um, says, hang around here for the next 20 minutes and then we'll go do some mechanic crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe before I make you do the thing, maybe I should give you some instructions. That, that's usually helpful. So there's now four people with me. Nah, we were yep. gonna see. We were gonna see if he was a prodigy. At least one of them has to be. Well, it turns out all three of them are learning multidiscipline. Multi uh, learning all three disciplines. Oh god. Well, he he must oh, be good because he hasn't died. That well, you know what it is. eBay is the vehicle. I will give him that. He managed to not die while working on it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Impressive. But you are not a Jedi yet. Alright, so <laughs> yeah, all three of them are going to attend um, classes on all three disciplines just to see if any of them have any talent, any particular talent. Mm -hmm. And so that they can all be supervised so they don't unleash a super virus or explode, the sh explode any type of machinery. Or, I don't know, cut themselves with medical equipment okay so while you're saying that you, you hear a voice from one of the recruits out in the hallway oh look a cute cat video no. wench 
So <laughs> 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 wait a minute, French. <laughs> oh no. So uh, while well, Kayana's looking at reports, uh, uh, suddenly her reports are being attacked by cats. <laughs> Like as in a ball of yarn. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. On screen. That's hilarious. <laughs> as you watch, the, the report you've been working on for the last um, hour or so um, gets completely torn apart. Um, nobody cat balls. I call B1. <laughs> 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 well, who else would you call in this thing? Exactly. Um, I call B1 immediately and I say... Uh, as you um, try to make a call through, you, you hear a meow meow over the um, comm before it um, gets through. Instead I of a ring, it's a meow meow, meow meow. So you know how it goes through, though. All right, I will. <laughs> 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 Don't hate this. And B one hears a meow meow, meow meow. Do you want to pick up? Meow meow. I'm so glad I'm out on patrol. Yes. So David, this <laughs> is one of those circumstances where you come up with a brilliant idea and remind me of computing to do something I'm struggling to do. But this time, you remain silent. <laughs> um, with it going meow meow, I will go and try to find him. Uh, he picks up while you're trying to find him. Oh, okay. I say, P1, where are you? Meow 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 So since P1's infected, he can understand all of it. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the meow. Medical lab meow. <laughs> <laughs> that flat tone is just making it better. And uh, as you walk in, you instead of the medical lab, it's got meow lab. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to be on the floor if this keeps going. <laughs> I'll go in. Uh, <laughs> I'll say pause. You have to be kidding me right now. Like <laughs> <laughs> pause? Yes. Yep. Um, I'll say, I'll, I'll just look at B1, just very exhausted. And as I look at his it's recruits, one with burns all over, with a Wookiee cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you, you need a few minutes to check in this stuff. I'm going to walk back out the door. Just that door doesn't open. Take three for us. <laughs> just see, I'm just gonna walk out the door. door open. Yeah, the, the door just shut. Face yeah. the wall. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go back in, and I'll. It just, shuts with a meow. It opens look, with a meow. I'll just look at. Shuts yeah. with a hiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 look at B1 and I'll just say, please clean up the system. <laughs> I don't care which one of these Hey, guys. if you can do it better, you do do it. I can't do it. I didn't do it, and actually, you know what? Blame Betty. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to suggest as the, uh, one best in computers in this room, in this building, mayhaps, do what you can to get this cleaned up, please. I will go talk with Betty. I'm busy. Mm, get this taken care of, please, as soon as possible. <sighs> okay. Um, B1 ditches his class and says, entertain yourselves with the Wookiee. And, um, yeah, go play with these sharp instruments. And, uh, goes to try and debug the the computer system. Uh, would it be uh, advantageous if they actually observed you um, fixing up the computer issue? Sounds or like you, problem, Khaled. <laughs> Khaled, you're in charge now. If you want to bring him, you do that. Otherwise, leave me alone. So, Khaled brings him? Yeah. Sure, a, a distance away, because we don't want to get swiped at. <laughs> Uh, you mean you don't want to get wrenched? Or you might chuck a hissy fit. Wrench. Okay, so apparently uh, you are the um, uh, chosen one when it comes to getting rid of um, uh, these sort of things. Of course I am. That's because he's got a um, dog. He's got a watchdog program with him. <laughs> Okay, so you ended up with four successes at a triumph. 
Jesus. As you, uh, uh, you, you manage to clear off the uh, meow virus from the system and yourself at the same time. Congratulations. Nice. As far as you know. Uh, you know the the only meow. thing B1 hasn't been able to do like a pro has been astrogation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you manage to uh, uh, actually purge it from the system, which uh, you're not exactly sure how it got in. <laughs> Cat flap. Get out. Uh, at least you know you you know you're no longer looks, yeah. you you're no longer hearing meow voices Everyone in your head. He looks back at his students, looks back, looks at the computers, and says, "So I just do that next time," <laughs> and uh, walks off to the mechanics bay. Uh, as you're about to walk off, there's a uh, uh, message coming through for B1 on the system. Mm -hmm. Does B1... Uh, B1 won't open the message, but what he will do is check the notification and get the, get the preview of what the message says without actually opening it. Uh, notification to my version of security. <laughs> notification uh, says uh, you are receiving a direct um, call from uh, Imperial Command on the planet uh, with the uh, uh, a, a uh, with a with a quick check. You do um, match the uh, authentication to one Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> yeah, righto. So yeah, yeah. So you, you've done your due diligence and checked. He one takes the call, knowing that this is going to backfire one way or another. And you get a pre-recorded message uh, congratulating you on successfully uh, dealing with the uh, annoying cat virus. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, your um, requested demonstration was appropriate. And apparently, Thrawn, him, Thrawn had arranged for it to be installed himself. Right, I defeated Thrawn's bullshit. That's all I'm taking out of this. Um, B1 walks off down the mechanics lab, being the king of the universe that he knows that he is. Why does it seem like uh, he's beaming with uh, self satisfaction? Because like I'm too damn smart, that's why. I was going to say, that seems to be like B1's baseline, so... As long as he doesn't start cleaning himself and realising he hasn't purged it completely. <laughs> Every once in a while you hear a cat in the distance and be like, wait, did I actually hear that? You know when Kylo Ren just loses his mind and just, like, lightsabers up a console? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very much considering that. <laughs> Understand totally. So yes, uh, you, you make it down to the mechanics bay realising you don't have any of your students with you, but hey, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> nope. Who needs those guys? Um, B1 activates his implanted electrodes on the uh, on the students and summons them. No, he uh, <laughs> calls them down and summons them. The minute there, I was thinking... Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom! Whoops, right. wrong implant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, so B1 goes through the whole gamut and curriculum of instruction for the day and allows somebody else to do something. Okay. okay. So yes, uh, uh, you get back to your office and find uh, uh, your, your reports in pieces. My reports are so easy. Yep, they're... they're the virus uh, had munched through a big chunk of it. You have to rewrite nearly um, ninety percent of your reports. Okay. Only taking you half an hour to write them. Welcome. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and just start. There's nothing else I can do. I have to write these reports. I have to follow procedure and write the reports. So. Or delegate. Uh. Hey, Minion, you write this report. Uh, if I was going to delegate to anybody, I would delegate to Sector Rangers, just because I don't necessarily trust the minions to do it. Well, normally, um, you have to read over once it's done, but you don't have to write it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what most of the delegation does, is they read over the final product, or if they trust them enough, they just stamp it and don't look. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I'll get maybe one of the mm -hmm. the ones that are awake but not on shift. Yep. So start writing. It's all right. B1 would be happy to compile the report, being like he's not a sector ranger. Allocate more to the training for the droid. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe not that. So I'll get, I'll get one to work directly with me. Yep, you've now got to eat. You've got to trust me with anything. Yes. Perfect. Hey, you have been trusted with instructing uh, three rangers and a sector ranger. I didn't really give anybody a choice in that regard. And more to the point, I wasn't given a choice in uh, instructing the sector rain. Well, hey, it sort of goes the same way. Yeah, that's true. B1 will allow it. Besides, you've still got one with the surgically um, implanted headphones. <laughs> I'm going to change the... Oh, okay, I'm going to have a recruit that helps him with reports. Um... It's going to be one group each week. It's going to change each week. Um, that way they're all trained on doing this. And so you can get reports done by any of them. So I can get reports done by any of them. And also, this would be a way for me to get to know them and know which ones are useless. So please let it be all of them. <laughs> Might be all of oh, them. So they're all going to get trained. We're writing reports. We're going to choose one for this week. And then next time, and then next time, next time. Okay, so you wow. would create a 20 week roster. That one got through the short straw for sure. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take them to work out that, yeah, if I play dumb, I don't have to do reports. Oh, oh no. no! That means they get more training on doing reports, it means they have more work to do. Yep, so they better get good at it quick. So someone who's good at reports doesn't have to do the report training. Exactly. So being good at everything has its advantages. I'm yeah, telling just them, get good, one. basically. Okay, so, you get good scrub. <laughs> I am about to play. Yeah, speaking of scrubs, um, so the next um, instruction that you're going to be doing is how to remove glued headsets to a, a patient. Uh, no, it's not. He's keeping that. <laughs> Great, so what, we're going to call him Lobot. Beats. I don't oh, care nice. if they're going to be either way. The next curriculum is mechanics, so we're not coming back to surgical uh, at least another day. At least a day. Okay, so we've got the one that's got the head, the um, surgically in, uh, stuck headsets. His name's going to be Lobot. They get the constantly goes meow. <laughs> so you can name him whatever the hell you want. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the recruits will just start subtly meowing just to mess with B1. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what you doing here? Range. <laughs> That's actually like, I was going through a drive thru uh, and the drive thru person would That's how they would take the order. They're just like, hello, how can I help you, meow? Alright, meow. Um, Get out of here! Meow! Yeah, so if you haven't, you need to see Super Troopers. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's from that. I watched it and it's... Alright, now. It's good. Super Troopers too suck, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, look, they're just as disastrous as each other. Mm. So, yes, you, you have uh, managed to get through a day of training with new recruits. You have Kayana back. You, you have uh, a dead Wookiee in the um, science lab. <laughs> Not only a dead Wookiee, but like a partially dissected Wookiee. So, is he like kept in a freezer or anything? No, you don't have a freezer. So we've just got a dead, rotting body in our Okay, so we now need to, to have a... Um, no, tomorrow story. we learn about hygiene. <laughs> Can that be a today lesson? Yeah, um, I, I really think that should no. be... You guys aren't running this class, open. you can you can run your own classes, and you can dictate how they run. Well, this technically, Kayana can overrule class, you. This class, and they're going to learn no, the hard yeah, way. Can't you? So, why can't you overrule? I oh, he's not a, he's not a ranger. He's not a ranger. Oh, I'm okay. not a sector ranger. Um, also, he's B1. Uh, anybody control him. Yeah, it right. wouldn't matter. Report to...
Kiana upon finishing patrol. Um, I'm going to take me and my non-patrolling units and we're going to rent a very low cost motel room overnight because of the cadaver stench that is running through the whole place. Yeah, we're going to... I know, makes it's people want to go up. It's a room, it's, it's a med I'm going to use my own funds to do this because I don't, you know, that way no one can kind of tell me I can't. Because uh, I'm not staying here overnight with that smell. I'm going to ask Betty to have uh, probably like a large refrigerator or and or freezer to be installed in the medical bay as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. So till then, we're all going to have a pajama party, yeah. preferably with jawas. Oh, the other option she is to um, zip the body uh, back up in the body to bag. Hold uh, the large cadaver that is in the medical bay. You do know he's not going to stop at one. I'm going to stop him at <laughs> one. <laughs> Good luck. Yep. You, you know you have pre-approved um, purchase of cadavers. Yeah, but we need a place to put the cadavers. Mm-hmm. And we don't have a place to put them okay. hygienically. So can we please get uh, space to put said cadaver and to be honest, I think all the humans that are in that gar- garage right now deserve extra kudos because that smell makes people throw up. Yeah, you know, really easily. Yeah. Okay, so, she's. She you know that the, the room is sealed, right? Mm-hmm. The room well, is. Well, sealed, I didn't know, so. The, the other thing is, we could just zip up the body bag. That doesn't uh, you guys can stay out of my sealed med bay, thank you very well, much. It wasn't obvious to me that it was sealed, so I was acting on information I knew at the time. But still, it is a hygiene thing. You want to have it in yeah. a cool, dry plate, or er, so is storage this space. Is lab separate from the garage? Is it like no, a room down there? No, it's like it? the room itself seals. Mm. The whole garage area where all the The, the, the med the bay would be on, um, on uh, one oh, of the upper okay. floors. okay. For some reason I thought it was in the garage. I thought it was mentioned in the previous game. No, he said no, one of them to the garage. We got garage, oh, okay. and then we have first floor, which is mm-hmm. med bay, other quarters. Well, I should have probably just stayed in bed. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No, you're good. good. All right. so. so she arranges for a um, installation of a freezing unit overnight. That's fast. That's Betty. Mm-hmm. I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just writing this down now. I have to rewatch it. My hands aren't working again. Mm-hmm. That's why we record, and hopefully the recording works. Yep. Which I have to check every now and then because I don't always um, remember to check before I start looking. Well, hopefully it's recording, because that be our bit was very funny. It was. Yeah, it has been recording. Okay, so yes. Uh, there. Uh, when you get up in the morning and B1 goes into the science lab, there is a big freezer in there now, with uh, Meow written across the front of it. <laughs> it's sparkly stickers. <laughs> uh, seen from Kylo Ren. Yeah. Mm. Coming into mine. Yeah, the lightsaber. Mm. Just waiting for well, that. this is going to be with the wrench. No. Nah. I got something better. Yep. Uh, B1 now bring, B1 brings his three and a half students into the now stinking med bay. It doesn't stink anymore. Of the meow. Uh, you never said that the cadaver was in the freezer. Yeah, he did. Uh, no, sorry, that was very confrontational. Um, I didn't mean to say it like that. Okay, so uh, the the cadaver is in the freezer. Oh, no, I just messed up it. Oh, there's some bullshit. Um. Alright. Okay. So, yes. Um, They're still cleaning up the, uh, cleaning up the meow. And there's still the mess of the cadaver. That wasn't cleaned up. Mm. Good. So the membrane does stink. Fantastic. Uh, they're going to clean up the meow in that stink. Welcome to medicine. Everything smells. Welcome to medicine. It's gross and dirty and everything smells. Exactly. So when you guys were talking about the smell, I was like, I, I want there to be a smell. I want it to be gross. Well, uh, yeah, that's a good idea, though. Yeah. I'm 
Hey, what do you think your favorite movie is doing? Would you be okay if I looked a bit? My stomach's killing me and my joints are hurting. Yeah, lie down. And I'm not concentrating All good. All good. Take your drink. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna drop it. I'm good. Mm, all good. Thanks. It's okay. Oh, Feel better. Uh, hopefully as best better. you can. Thank you. Yeah. Unfortunately, saw a doctor today, so. Yeah, yeah. that's how it is. Hopefully, she'll better in the morning. Okay, so yes, uh, your um, students don't go well. Could Khalid um, tell me what his? Uh, could you make a resil res resilience roll, please? Um, yep. Uh, my resilience is B3 green. But I would uh, like to um, upgrade it. Mm -hmm. Upgrade the uh, one of the dice. Because I am not going to embarrass myself in front of the students. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you succeed in not passing out or throwing up. I'm leading by example. Everyone looks at Khaled with, yeah, everyone looks at Khaled with a little bit of respect. Just a, a slight tinge. But apparently he's the only one who could stay in the room in the morning. <laughs> um, B1 cleans up the rest of the Wookiee mess. Mm hmm. And D deodorizes the med bay. Uh, you find the data chip as you're cleaning up the mess. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Um, he throws it to one of the, the primary computing um, students mm -hmm. and says, put it in the isolated, isolated system and find out what's on there. Okay. Takes him a little while because he needs to recover from the uh, the stench, as he puts it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to medicine. And he says it's in a language you can't read. Uh, anyone has a quick look. It's in Wookie. Oh, anyone speaks Wookie, doesn't he? He does. Yep. Uh, what's it say? It's a message for. And how um, is Wookie even written? Uh, very, very scripting, scriptive, like uh, Elvish. Hmm. Uh, like everything else they do, it's very artistic. Okay. And uh, looking at it, it, it seems to be. Sorry. Seems to be a message for a, uh, a someone go by by the name of Stumpy. Uh, uh, reporting on um, uh, delivery of um, potatoes to the farmer and it reaching it successfully. B1 shares the information briefly with Khalid, uh, doesn't make any other comment about it, and then um, uh, shows the computing students. Uh, the, the best, best way, way to get, get a translation on um, languages, then uh, shuts it down and continues on to uh, the mechanics garage and suggests that Khaled should potentially take responsibility of that message. Mm -hmm. uh, great. Smuggling Wookiees. Yay. Oh, it's definitely guns. Are you sure it's not furry potatoes? Yes, because that's what all Wookiees eat. All of their food is furry. Well, that helps it go down faster. Raising. All those natural um, oils. Yeah, yeah. Raising. <laughs> Wookiee bootlegs! They're making um, moonshine. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I was getting at. Yep. <laughs> no 
Okay, um, yep, yeah, so B1 will continue with his instruction for today and do nothing else. Okay, you have a receptive audience, even though one of them can't really use his hands that well. Ah, uh, help. Uh, <laughs> Might want to move on to medical lesson of the day number two. No, nah, we'll get to that later. He'll deal with it now. Okay. Um, Mechanics is pain. I'll check on third shift reports, anything? Okay, third, third shift reports. Let's see, do they actually notice anything? Nope, they're happy. Cool. <laughs> Nothing uneventful happened overnight while you're sleeping. As, as far as they know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there one less? <laughs> I didn't say they were the best and brightest overnight. Yeah. We also have one less um, group going around. Yeah. So you have three groups during the day and evening and two groups overnight. Yep. Did you lose a group of peasants? No, because three were assigned to you. Okay. Which means they get one lot of training, one lot of uh, walking the beat, and then one lot of sleeping. Yep. So they might have been the overnight group, so when you get them, they they haven't actually um, slept. Oh, I'm not training them unless they've slept. Oh, yeah, no. He, they can do their important beat, beat walking uh, uh, fatigue. Yeah, don't worry, your three are separate from the um, patrol units. Okay. So, yep, I guess. Hmm. Continue to um, Carl, are you going to do anything with your uh, booking reports? Um, I'd like to actually do some investigation on this part. Mm hmm. Um, basically find out where the body actually uh, came from. Basically, um, how it actually, where it actually was found before it went to the hospital. I guess, okay. well... He gets to try out his new computer um, skill. Cool. Very nice. So, how many green dice do you have? It's uh, two. Okay, you start interacting with the computer system. Apparently, you end up um, with two successes and two threat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So there's a uh, meowing in the background, and I've got a droid that's running up with a wet wrench going <laughs> there, is it? <laughs> yep. Yeah. As you do happen to um, uh, luckily avoid the meow virus this time. The threat is P1 standing in the background with the wrench. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 you, 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 you do uh, hear, hear the clunk of the wrench every now and then as you're doing this with the... Um, me, me, I, I'm, I'm computing properly, aren't I? I'm a sector ranger! Dodge the ball, you can dodge a wrench. Yeah. Exactly. If you, can dodge it, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a virus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I brought the airborne version. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my car will have to get infected. Oh no. Don't worry, you only eat organic. I'm just imagining any pistol that B1 owns starts shooting and every time it shoots, it says meow. <laughs> so the pew pew, it goes meow meow. <laughs> meow meow. What is that, laser cat from the side of life? That can be arranged. <laughs> He upgraded the um, disruptor pistol. It fires a meow anytime you fire it. <laughs> meow! Uh. Disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be there for a while now. Yep. <laughs> so, yes, uh, looking through the details of it, 
you find that the Wookiee was logged um, five days ago, having been um, uh, found um, in uh, one of the uh, spaceport um, hotel rooms. Okay. The Wookiee was not a guest. And the Wookiee had no transit papers. Not registered anywhere on the system. Uh, was there a um, police report filed? Uh, no, because um, it, w it was a uh, unregistered Wookiee. No, 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 no. Um, okay. Was there any complaints filed or anything saying uh, self-defense or anything like that? Uh, the body was found without any um, uh, assailant. Oh, okay. Um, who was the uh, room rented to? Uh, that information has been redacted. Okay. Does it actually state if, who, uh, which authority redacted it? It does not. You, you do not have um, authority to find out who redacted the uh, information. Which means it could range anywhere from Imperial Analyst all the way up. Or someone else hacked it. That too. Did I, by chance, to Kayana by chance, recognize this monkey body? It'd be pretty hard. It would be cut open at the time. Okay. Okay. That's what Wookiees look alike here. Who knows? Did she just so happen to have a sword clash with a Wookiee within the past week? That's up to you. Did you? Uh, I want to say no, but I feel like the answer is yes. It could be no, and it could be someone else killing Wookiees, or it could be yes, and you, you could have killed the Wookiee. Uh, Piper's family, Piper had Wookiee friend. Kayana would not want to kill Wookiees. Mm -hmm. so, I'm gonna go with no. In which case, someone else with a uh, Mandalorian Vibro sword killed the Wookiee. What's oh, that? Means there's someone else running around with a Mandalorian Vibro sword. Yep. Okay. Could happen, and that is kind of concerning. Mm hmm. There's only one person you know who also has a Mandalorian Vobro sword. Well, two people actually. Who has a sword? Jadkia. Ah! Oh. Thrawn. Yeah! I don't think I know Thrawn, but yeah, Jadkia does have a sword as well. And he's been missing. Yep. That's concerning. Because Jadkia and Vobro were really good friends. There was also the um, Twi'lek that also had it too. I thought we got it back from the Twi'lek. He had the, I don't, he, he, I think he had one on the wall, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought we got it back from the Twi'lek. Yeah, Alright. Cool. So, yeah, is that something else to continue with? Yep. That somebody is going around. And with enough skill to hide their tracks. Yeah. Yeah, well, it just goes into report and saying unsolved. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it, it's actually not down as a crime. Well, they'll put it in a pers personal file uh, to investigate later. <laughs> just in case something else starts appearing as they're being uh, attacked by a Mandalorian fibro sword. Okay, so you start keeping a um, personal journal. Yep. Because uh, due to the fact that they class this as, what was it, Wookiees, they're not registered as 
third class, or if not be fourth class citizens, because droids be classed as third class. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well. well. He's not registered as a slave, and he's not registered as a non-slave. Yeah, but I thought any Wookiees that actually are left the... by default, and that haven't been registered, are classed as... Um, escape, okay? They are cl classified as escaped, but he wasn't breathing, so he didn't get a classification. <laughs> There's always a way to slip through the cracks. <laughs> Being dead is a good way to do it. Well, that requires paperwork to classify him as a slave. Yeah, yeah. And because he's neither a slave nor a citizen, he doesn't have to be investigated. Yep. Totally works out. So this is just basically on a body count of uh, bodies that have been attacked by uh, library swords. It's mm -hmm. probably not even registered on their system anywhere besides the entry you're looking at. Yeah. Which does flag you as suspicious why part of it, parts of it are redacted. It's not linked to any other file on their system. Mm. But you have flagged an alert. Okay, well, we'll soon see what happens. So whoever um, redacted it probably now knows that you have looked at it. Yeah, we'll now see if it's uh, Imperial, if it's... Um, oh, what was it? Uh, underworld? Terrorists or governmental? Hmm, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no guarantee that they'll come after you straight away. No. Oh, well, they're probably on it. They might actually want to see what I do with the information. The most that you think will happen is you, you've basically tripped a security feature and your name is now an ID and now flagged with viewing this account. Yeah. And in a lot of cases, until you've tripped it up enough, no one investigates. Mm. Sort of like by being a Wookiee that's dead that doesn't have an ID, mm -hmm. it hasn't tripped up any other investigations onto the system. Makes sense. Yeah. Other than, um, we are getting a lot of Wookiees fronting up. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. Well, you do remember something about um, Stumpy uh, being here to catch up with someone. Yeah. Which you think may have been this person. Hmm. Yeah, I thought actually Stumpy was catching up with um, Piper. Yeah. Well, Piper, well, Stumpy's been with Piper. For, for some time. For some time. Mm. So this would be Stumpy meeting up with a contact of sorts. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so one thing uh, Kayana mm -hmm. also gets is a, a notice that um, the Imperials are looking for information about something called Fulcrum. About what, sorry? Fulcrum. So is there any further detail as to what they think this might be? Uh, they, um, that's why they're putting out a call to their agents. And there's no further details. And as always, they're super helpful. And it has, uh, uh, come through, um, Imperial High Command as a high priority. Mm.
Um. I'm just seeing how you spell. F U L C. R U M? Yeah, I think so. I feel like I just never actually spelled that word. Okay. Um, so yeah, I get a notice we're looking for something called Roll Call. Whether or not that is a... It could be a ship, it could be a person, it could be a planet, it could be an organization. It could be literally anything. It could be a weapon, it could be a food product, it could be a drug. Yeah. It, it could even be a computer program. Yeah. Posing as a cat. <laughs> Well, well, I think Thrawn admitted to sending the cat yep. virus, so... Well, when, when someone asked for a super virus, he made sure um, he got placed in the um, position that would test it. Yep. Okay. Alright. Um... I will advise patrols that if they hear any word on the street about Vulcan to report it immediately. Do not investigate, just to report immediately for a senior officer officer to investigate. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Um They get the memo. And then I will ask so you you do get questions like is that some sort of lever? I will tell them to just listen for listen and look for it. Your job's not to ask questions, your job's to look. <laughs> um, and then I will also ask our uh, developing tech team uh, uh, if they get a chance, they could do a system search on the planet for any mentions of Volcom. So, what does B1 advise? Uh, my apologies, I missed that. Sorry, I was just reading a message from work. No worries. All good. Uh, I was saying, uh, I was going to have B1 and the trainee tech team uh, look out of on the planet systems, various systems, for any mention of Fulcrum. Don't know what it is? Just, like... Control F, find something. Yep, alright, so B1 is going to show the kids how to do a space Google. Um, search as many records uh, as possible and see what he can come up with. Okay. Okay, B1 has a good look for stuff. This will be an interesting result. This is going to be... Okay, so I'll get rid of that one. Awesome. Get rid of that. Because there's a triumph and two despair. So I'll get rid of that. The return of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so that we ended up there with uh, two successes. Uh, two threats. A triumph and to despair. This is weird. Alright. This is wild. <laughs> okay, so let's see what I can do for despair. To despair, actually. Yeah. We're gonna consult the charts and see what see what um funny things it will allow you to do. Consult the oracle. Okay, so, uh, what would um, B1 like to do with his two despair and his triumph on his search for Fulcrum? Um, absolutely fail at, uh, uh, two despair, alright, so, but you have also succeeded. You have succeeded. One of the, one, one of the despairs... Um, brings back a fragment of the Meow Virus. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, 
right? So you're ending your ending your sentences with meow. Yeah. That's all right. I'm a computer master genius. I'll just fix it, I guess. Probably not. Um. So you incorporate part of the meow virus into your personality. Got it? No. <laughs> Uh, B1 will throw himself into a smelter if that's the case. <laughs> a Mielta? <sighs> I don't even like cats. That just makes it all worse. I don't know what to do with the other despair. The triumph is showing the kids how to space Google, mm -hmm. and the success is getting the result, I guess. Okay. So, what you um, find out is that um, Fulcrum is the name of a, uh, of a person that the Imperial Intelligence is currently hunting uh, throughout the Outer Rim. The ID is okay. unknown, but they appear to be uh, an agitator that stirs up um, um, the populace against the Empire and passes on Imperial trade secrets. So they basically uh, espionage agent that the Empire wants to shut down. Okay. Um, and one will control C, control V, send the email to Kesley. Hey boss, I found information on this bullet magnet. Have fun. And uh, your your second despair, um, you've managed to add um, your person personality into the mix of suspects for Fulcrum. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay. Uh, having accessed the uh, secret hidden file. Okay. As you see, your, uh, your 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 ID code appear up on the um, list of suspects as you're uh, reading through the details and passing it on to uh, Kayana. Uh, I'll allow it. All right. Um. So I guess I'll redo it. Do I recognize B B1's ID code? It's long, but hey, it, it, it's on your system. It's on the system. It's an old code, but it checks out. It's an. It's. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's on the system, you need to read it at any time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So what does this number mean? Ding! Bink! B1. Which now has, uh, uh, Meow1. Meow1. <laughs> oh, goodness. Great. B1 droid with whiskers. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure he can, he can upgrade to K9 one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be a lot happier with that. Okay, so I'll, I'll switch over the from the cat virus. You, you've, you've picked up the wolf virus instead. <laughs> no, no, leave it at the cat virus because the cat virus pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> but he does come up in your system as meow one. That's funny. Um, yeah, so anyway, you get all that info past me. Um, the idiots start learning some stuff, and B1 goes back to classes. Okay. I will... confer with Carlin and Thea, um, about what to do in order to catch a spy. So... I'll go ahead and open up to Carla. Do you have any ideas on how to investigate catching a spy? Um, I have no idea, really. Yeah. You're the enforcer. Uh, yeah, I you enforce that. Uh, I'm not an investigator. What's, re what's really funny is you got the beater upper and you have one that beats up as well. Investigating this, we are not the brains of this operation here. So you're the direct beat up. He's the distance beat up, and yeah. the shadow beat up. And the person that you're investigating is the small one. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, two beat em ups trying to smart a brain. 
gonna go well. Um, so they go up to B1 and go, I cast punch. Yeah, right. <laughs> B1 goes, go ahead. Crack, break the hand. Right. Nope, doesn't work. Let me try yes, again. I cast <laughs> punch <laughs> at the pagola. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send my army of nerds after you. It does help that you do have a uh, faithful group of followers um, who believe that uh, Leech should definitely be the uh, top bounty hunter of the sector. <laughs> he may be the most popular one on the planet, but he's not the top bounty hunter. I guess we'll be in morning, so I'll be preparing second shift mm -hmm. um, with information about searching for um, any sort of uh, gatherings, any pamphlets, um, and any mentions on the street of a person named Fulcrum. Mm -hmm. so, I'll, I'll direct them go off and see if they, they find anything. If they happen not to find anything, that's who's joining first shift. Me. <laughs> so I think you'll end up joining first shift because... Most uh, likely. Okay, see if I can find the name of the other person I had. Um, and it would help if things don't pop up over my screen. <laughs> Uh, because I have this very small um, text box. Oh yeah. Yep, and, then... and you're getting cat pictures popping up. <laughs> <laughs> and then trying to actually get um, to type in stuff, it decides it wants to send me to different places. Oh no. No, can't do a quick look on that. Sometimes it's handy when you can just do a quick search and go, I'm looking for this term, will I have it there? No, it does not. Well, I'll have to do a bit of a look later. Okay. But yes, um, you do get from uh, one of your shifts yep. that there is some sort of uh, illegal transmission coming through on the Imperial um, Hollow Net. He witnessed the end of it, and it's, um, he didn't know who it was, but there was someone talking about, uh, um, striking back at the Empire. Um, okay, so I guess we will, uh, I have to try to monitor the holonet to see if any more of these transition, mm. transmissions come through. And it says it interrupted a um, recording that was already going. Yeah, so I was to, like, we would just have to continue to monitor, see if another one comes through, or if there's any recording of this transmission. Not that I could see. In, yeah, I'll pull. And he, he says people called it the voice of the resistance. It is. People are writing stuff down. So, yeah. The other stuff I had planned ha uh, was for people who didn't make it tonight. So what I was thinking of doing is finishing a bit early because I still feel a bit rubbish from my yep. own um, yeah. um, stuff. And let David enjoy a nice uh, warm bed. Yes. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm getting oh, attacked by, a, um, so by the Miko virus at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm currently being used as a, uh, what was it, anti-stress mat thing with cloth. 
baking bread on my bloody legs. Yeah. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Cats are good at that. So I will. Wouldn't get that with the dog. Uh, no, I get scratches at the at the, the on my legs. The dog wants attention, while the cat's getting attention. <laughs> All right. So yes, we'll end up calling it a night there. We Sounds will pick good. up um, next session with uh, further details about what's happening with the various uh, uh, storylines because you'll get more from Sandemo as he's continuing to chase up the stuff for Carlet. Yep. Oh. <laughs> and whether or not he actually gets far enough in time. See. Considering the other guys were, no. sen were sentenced for execution. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, you hadn't followed through with what they were actually doing today. The Empire is very swift with bringing justice to people that hasn't actually determined were guilty or not. So it's, it's always easy to apologize, saying, "Oops, we killed the wrong person." That's true. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> File a complaint and then also get taken for sedition? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. We're going to off. Okay, All so right. have a good night, David. Hopefully, you're, yep. you're up for tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. Yep. So Catch you later. Night after the set. Good night. Same with you, Ross. Hopefully, you're up for tomorrow as well. Uh, what? Some more? Some more Shadow more. Run. Yep. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, so have a good night, and I will see you then. I'll put it onto end credits. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye. See ya.